Welcome, Sage, to reading I'm Scorpio Moon, Intuition Bream Messages from Spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you are wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, nice and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to you all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Saji, let's go ahead and see what is coming towards you in love. Spirit, please bring forth clear messages in regards to Sag and their love interest. What is the current overall energy of your person and what is their energy towards you? What do we need to know about Sag and their love interest? Please bring forth clear messages. Thank you, Spirit. So overall, I have a feeling like they're having an issue with having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. This could be with you. This could be with someone else. And um, maybe they have a hard time of confessing or, or speaking their truth. And the truth is, is that they have a hard time of letting go of control issues. Or maybe um, they have let go of control, but they don't have the heart to talk about this. Now, I don't know why I'm picking up on this, but I have a feeling that your lover is dealing with a bully, okay? Like someone is, uh, you know, pulling the strings, um, like someone is in control over your individual. Uh, that's the feeling that I'm getting. And also, uh, right now, they don't know if they're just worth waiting for, Um your person is in a really low vibration. Now, I don't know why I'm getting this with all of my fire signs. It's like this week is a dumpy week for you guys. But let me see. Now, towards you, we have engagement. And also, we have religious factors. So... I have a feeling like maybe for some, you're going to receive some sort of communication. Um, and maybe you guys are going to be talking about your spiritual or religious beliefs. So this could be uh, something, um, you know, kind of like uh, this person can ask you, so what is it that you believe in? Um, well, I believe in that too. You know, what do you think about this? So I don't feel like you and this person has an issue with communication. But if they're caught up in some sort of karmic situation, they can't have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with that person because that person that they're dealing with is controlling and manipulative. You know, whereas the uh, conversation here with you is very open. So your person is really open to speak with you, but to somebody else, they're really closed off okay you may not know this but that's what I'm seeing you know but I really feel that towards you they can't even be playful yeah and I really feel like it's because after they have to like this engaging conversation with you um guess who they have to go home to <laughs> I'm just saying now, it may not be like where your person is actually in a relationship or a marriage, but I really feel like this is their energy overall. Like, baby, for some, they want to engage in conversation with you, but they have a hard time of speaking to you about the truth. Like, they have, like, some issue where they're trying to let go of them being so controlling. And that's for some. So, let's see. Spirit, can you please reveal to me what's going on with the subconscious? What is going on beneath the surface? Thank you. Thank you. 
So I see her family and they have a hard time going in a new direction. Okay. Um, because of a karmic partner. And they're they're not trying to hide it. I really feel like they want to be truthful towards the karmic that they can't talk to them, but they feel like you know they haven't made a decision. Okay. This person has a family with a karmic. This is very similar to um Aries reading. I just got done with Aries like about an hour or so ago. So I took a little break, right? Um, just to clear my energy before I got to your reading. And I'm shuffling the cards and the same stuff is coming out. So I guess collectively for my fire signs, um, you guys are, are dealing with this, okay? Um, yeah, this person is trying to get out of not being able to feel. Now, towards you, Spirit, what's going on beneath the surface with this person? You know, maybe this person is kind of tired. They feel like they don't have the energy, you know. Um, yeah, they're open for conversation, but I mean, where is the love, right? Everyone needs to really check and see what, what really makes you happy. You know, and I, I saw that in the last reading. We have a victim. They feel like a victim. They feel stuck. You know, and they want to take this relationship with you to the next level. Let's see. Is there anything else? Please tell me about religious factors and playfulness. <laughs> what did I say? Stuck. They feel stuck. They feel stuck on tradition. So I don't know if your person is like the family man or family woman, you know, where they believe in staying with a, a person, you know, for better, for worse, till death do they part, you know. Um, so regardless of the situation, they feel like they have to stay in that family, you know. And that's where some, not everyone is going through that, but they feel stuck, you know, because of their religious beliefs. They're having a hard time. Yeah, this person is unawakened and they're being guided to wake up. Like, I don't know if that, that's like a metaphor because today it is raining. <laughs> and the rain is making, uh, you know, uh, I mean, may maybe it's not making me sleepy, but it sure as heck, you know, doing its job, right? I really feel like your person is unawakened and they're feeling guided, you know, to do something about it. You know, they can't even flirt with you because they're stuck in some sort of karma over here. Uh, that's what I'm getting. It's very frustrating, right? So let's go ahead and see. Let's check your guys' energy between the two of you. Spirit, can you tell me more about this person's energy? When it comes to Sag, and what is a Sag's energy towards this person? How you guys currently think and feel? What is it that you both want? And what is the outcome? And Spirit, what is the connective energy between these two? What can you tell me about this energy between Sag and their love interest? Thank you. Well, we have a Capricorn energy here. This is the devil. Someone feels stuck. Can you guys read that? Probably not. On this hand, it says solve. Maybe this person's trying to solve a problem with a paintbrush. What, you know, that old saying goes, the, the pen is mightier than the sword. And um, this person uh, will solve the issue by painting a narrative, okay? And here there is a, a palette, okay? And it says, Kosula. Now, I don't know what that means. C-O-A, Kogula? I don't know, guys. I got I gotta put my my glasses on. <laughs> Cogula. I don't know what that means. Let me see. Ink. 
A mass of coagulated matter? That sounds nasty. Who is Cogula? It's a character in DC Comics Doom Patrol. The first transgender superhero by the publisher? Wow, that's weird. Cogula is a transgender lesbian, former prostitute, and programmer. Wow. <laughs> that's a mix that that's a like very unique mixture, right? Wow, that I learned something new. Now, I don't think that that's what this is meaning. I, I really feel like it's a coagulation, right? Um, kind of like a mixture of all of these colors, the color palette. And um, honestly, I see that there is a color green on this paintbrush. So I don't know. You know, your person has a choice to solve uh, this problem. And I see that they can't really make an offer. Okay, they need to really focus more on themselves. Maybe it's because of finances. Um, you know, like there's a food shortage, right? I mean, we could take it like that. Um, so what is your person going to do? They have a family. So family is really important for them. And I see that they want to take a chance, but I feel that they're leaving a situation. Um, they're not feeling very good. And I see that um, they do want to work things out with you. Okay. Uh, for the past seven years, um, Things haven't been working out with them and possibly the karmic situation, and they have finally made a decision. Uh, now, they could be a father, they could be a mother, take it as it resonates, but this person is really thinking about how are they going to invest into their time, and I see that they're holding themselves back from pursuing you. So... I really feel like don't take it personally that this person isn't coming towards you right now. Um, they have a family that, you know, they feel obligated to support. Um, I really feel like it's financial. Okay. Um, yes, there might be a karmic partner or a karmic situation that they're dealing with. Um, but I see that they're being very cold. Okay, very detached with love. So this person isn't really open up towards feelings. And I see that they do want to be independent. They want to work on themselves. And uh, I see that they're not really communicating to you. Okay, because maybe it's because you're doing well. This is the queen of wands. Okay, so, um, you know, Sag, you know, no matter which gender you you, you are, um. I really feel like your person isn't telling you what they're doing um, because there is a queen of cups here and reverse. The karmic is emotionally manipulating your person to make them feel guilty to stay stuck in this relationship. Now, I mean, take it, take it as it resonates, right? You know, everyone's personal situation is a little bit different, but I see that. And that's why they feel like they can't manifest change. And um, they really feel like they're being deceptive. More than anything, they want to be honest. They want to be fair. Okay, for some, you're dealing with a Libra. And they really feel like they want to work on this. So more than anything, if it's been three years, right, they've been wanting to work on things with you. But because of a karmic situation, you know, they can't, especially now. Now, I see that there could be some sort of a transformation here. There's something that I really feel like. You know, this thing in reverse looks actually better than the upright position. The upright position is this. Do you see like the sun is shining and there's um, a butterfly that's about to fly. But here, this butterfly looks like it's staying. It feels warm and cozy um, in this position, right? Do you guys get that vibe? I really feel like your person, they have a hard time of letting go. I mean, this is very, a beautiful optical illusion. I really like um, how this person depicted in its low scrubbo. 
he's a really good artist, you know, and um, I see that, you know, your person could be between two individuals, okay, maybe we're, they're dealing with an air sign, and because of that air sign, I really feel like uh, they've been uh, at this tug of war situation, it's like they can never win, and um, that's why they can't come towards you, okay, I really feel like they do, they really want to pursue you, and um, they realize that they can't change the past uh, and they don't know what the future holds, uh, but they're feeling stuck. They know that in order to get out of the stuck energy, they have to put one foot forward. Okay. Uh, but again, there's a lot of stuck energy here. This is the Knight of Cups. Um, they feel like they can't really, uh, you know, have a, a commitment or relationship with you, but they definitely want to have uh, a new beginning. So, <sighs> Thinking and doing are two different things. Your person does want to open up towards you, but they can't, or it's hard, it's difficult. They're in a position where it's it's not easy. Yeah, they're keeping things a secret. Both of you guys really want to be together, and you're feeling like a lot of time has passed. Now, I see that you really want to look at you. You're like, hey, hey, baby, you want to, uh, you know, go out for, uh, for some drinks? and, um, But you're really hurt because of third party. Now, your person may be going on a business trip, okay, or maybe they're um, traveling towards you. Uh, I'm seeing that they're going through some sort of financial difficulty. That's why they can't meet you. Now, I don't know. For some, I feel like your person had to go back towards the karmic. Especially if there was some distance. And now I just see you're here all along. You're just uh, drinking your whiskey and listening to the blues, right? Um, I know. Uh, guys, I was listening to blues earlier today. And then there was a part in, in the song. They're like, and it's raining outside. And I'm like, it sure as hell is. I was like, how did you know? It's raining. It's raining. It's raining hard. <laughs> Just saying. Now, um, how does this person feel? This person really feels that they really want to return back towards you. They they feel like it's not over, um, but they're not happy, so they're grieving. It's like, hey, babe, you know, I'm sorry I had to do this to you, but I gotta go back towards the karmic. Or maybe for some, they they you know they told you like they had to go home, they couldn't meet up with you, and you just feel kind of like, wow. You know, you don't you don't know how to feel because it doesn't make you feel warm and fuzzy, right? Now I see that here with the ten of pen, uh, ten of cups in reverse. You don't feel good. You know, emotionally you're just depleted. You know, and the outcome. You know, all you want was <laughs> look at this. Are you smoking? Are you stressed, Sag? Now, I really feel like for your person, you could be dealing with the Virgo. Now, they want to get out of the separation here between uh, the both of you. And I said they had to make a decision. Okay. Um, there's something. There's unfinished business with the karmic. And um, they're no longer fighting it. And I see that with you. Okay. You are not being honest. You really want to find some sort of balance. You know, you're, you're putting your, you're wearing yourself thin over here. Okay, um, now I see that they're just like, I don't know, they're in two different places. It's like maybe this person has a double life. You know, maybe they have like a house up here and a house down there, right? And then they have to travel back and forth. It's like this person lives in different cities, okay, or different houses. You know, maybe this person is a real estate owner and they have a house here, but then they have another house here and I don't know, that must be for somebody because I'm picking up on that energy. And look, there's a hotel. You know, um, your person has decided, um, I don't know, I really feel like for some they're married. And if they're married, you know, hmm. now I see here the uh, king of pentacles in reverse. You could be done with an earth sign. Now for you, you feel like you can't really invest in this person. Maybe this person, you know, um, Maybe they're overspender or maybe, you know, they're just too classy. I don't know. Um, I really feel like both you and this person make, you know, equal amounts of money. Um, maybe one makes more than the other. I don't know. But one person here um, 
is a spender, okay? And they're spending more than their means. Now, I really feel like, you know, financially, they could have been really good, but, you know, um, this lifestyle, I don't know, you are actually, not, you're holding on to your money. You're like, you shouldn't be going out all out like that. Like you should be holding back and being, uh, be more conservative. But here's this person. She has a chauffeur in case you're like, ah, bags. <laughs> you know, there's a thing about Prince, right? Whenever he's riding in a limo, he'll say window, <laughs> door, you know? And then he has like a little chauffeur, right? Uh, and the chauffeur guy is like, you know, when Prince says window, you know, uh, you know, the chauffeur, you know, cracks the window open or, you know, the, this person says door, you know, um, you know, here comes a chauffeur opening up the door. You know, I really feel like somebody here is very like, I don't know. I don't know. Do they, how, how does this person say like, hey, wipe my ass, you know? wipe <laughs> anyway guys I mean, oh, it must be the rain <laughs> just say <Look> at <laughs> I can't make this shit <laughs> it is the rain <laughs> You're okay. So if you feel like this is your divine counterpart, your twin flame or whatnot, you're just feeling like, okay, you are not in a vibrational match to be in a situation with them in a physical. And I see that here. This is the sun. Okay. You're not seeing, you're not happy that, and this person isn't happy. They're all in their head. So, it, you know, somebody's raining on their parade over here. That's what I'm feeling. You know, I would say, <sighs> Sag, you know, if this is your person, you know, just, just, just sit out on this one. Like maybe next week's energy is going to be a little bit different. Okay. Who knows? Right. Um, cause I'm not getting any kind of resolution. It's like this, this energy is stagnant. There, there's some karma here, you know, um, so if they're in some sort of karmic situation, I mean, I'm going to have to tell you like a told Aries, you have a couple of options. Option A, okay, um, you hold space in your heart for this person, okay, and maybe you just, you know, move to a different direction. B, okay, um, you, you're, you're, um, you're holding on to this relationship, you're not going to date anybody, but during this time, you're going to work on yourself. C, okay, you're open to everybody. You're open to your twin flame, uh, you know, soulmate over here, and you're open towards someone else. The, the, you have free will to choose, okay? Because right now, I mean, I can't change this person's energy. They're, they, they got like a cloud over their head. You know, I mean, I can't say, hey, you know, can you get that cloud off your head? No, this person is drowning in their misery. You know, I can't say nothing about that. I mean, you can't do anything about it either because you're like, everyone is not in a dumpy mood. You know, let's see. What else does this person want to say? I didn't think someone like you would be interested in me. Look, like they're all feeling dumpy and stuff. Oh, oh, Sag, you like me? Yes. Like, come on, man. Like, get out of your freaking misery. You know, maybe for some you're done with a water sign and they're just too emotional. And Aries, you're like, come on, man. Like, hurry up. <laughs> Let's go to places like let's go to the bar. No, I gotta, I gotta go somewhere else. And you're like, what the fuck, man? You know, like, can you go outside? Can you like at least do something? You know, and you're like, whatever. You're gonna go out anyways, right? So I see here. I felt like I would never meet your expectations. Exactly. Why? You know, I mean, it's really up to you. I really feel like you guys are two different energies but you there is obviously some sort of attraction because i wouldn't be you know reading this person's energy for a collective reading 
That's what I'm saying. So let's see. What is the guidance? Spirit, what is the guidance message for this person? We have Isis, past life. The situation involves your past life memories. You know, the reason why that you're feeling this person and you just can't understand or fathom is because you had a past life connection with them. You know, it could be romantic. It could be like plutonic. There's something about this person's energy that you can't release and let go. Okay. And that's what I have. You know, I don't know. Let's see. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? What is the guidance for Sag? Guidance message for Sag, please, Spirit. Look, Guinevere, true love. The romantic stirrings in your heart have repelled the universe to deliver great love to you. This is a past life connection. That's why you can't let go of this one. But is your person ready? No. So, I mean, I guess, like I said to Aries, you got to be patient. I get this all the time. If you're a fire sign, okay, and you've been following me on my channel, I feel like for my fire signs, the, the word for you is patience. Can you be patient with this lover that you have, that you feel connected to? Because this person is, is teaching you something in this lifetime. You know, and especially if you feel like this is your twin, you know, not all twin flames are going to end up in a romantic relationship. You know, some of you guys are going to be working together plutonically in a working relationship, you know, and maybe that's all that it is. And maybe in your next lifetime, you will have that romantic relationship. It really doesn't matter. The... The energy that I'm feeling here, regardless, okay, yes, this is a true love. It's really up to you because um, this person's energy, they're feeling insecure and very pessimistic that why would you stick around and, and love them after whatever that they've done towards you? Either they didn't accept your feelings or they kind of pushed you away, you know, they stayed stuck in some sort of marriage, you know, how could you love them? Yeah, and that that's the energy that I'm getting. So I really hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me and you want to know a little bit more about your energy with your lover, um, you can uh, book a reading with me at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And we have a full moon coming up. And uh, if you guys want to prepare, uh, I have my lovely uh, bath bombs here on display. Um, I also have here my body polish if you guys are interested so if you guys don't have a bathtub and you're a shower person uh definitely get the body polish uh all of my products have dead sea salts okay and this one has sugar also in it but this formula will actually help smooth your body so whenever you get out the shower you should feel silky and smooth okay or if you feel callous and roughed up you should be feeling fresh and clean. Uh, no kidding. And you would actually feel glowy. Okay. Uh, the whole intent of my uh, products is to release any kind of negative energy that is in your ore field so that it can go down the drain. Okay. Whether it's in the bath bomb format um, in a uh, body polish. I also have uh, bath salt. Okay. Um, and then uh, after uh, you feel called, okay, I do have um, body butters. And, and this here I have is a hand lotion. Um, so if you guys are interested in this, okay, if you wash your hands a lot, and your hands feel dry, uh, or if you want to uh, take something with you on the road, okay, try out my Silky and Smooth Moisturizing Hand Lotion. It's a special formula that I have um, to help, you know, uh, dry, cracked hands, okay? Like if you wash your hands a lot, if you're in the medical field and you're constantly washing your hands, go ahead and give this a try because uh, the formula that I have come up, um, it actually heals uh, scars, uh, cuts, uh, bug bites, 
Um, it's really good for everything. And this one is vegan. Okay. So again, I really hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. Okay. And oh, if you go and purchase my bath products, okay, my website there is SMI beauty and bath.com. And if you sign up on a newsletter, which you can see at the very bottom of the website, uh, you just enter in your email address, and then you will receive a 20% off coupon on your first order. So again, um, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.